Cool, so the next application is an incredibly powerful application. It's free. There is a paid version as well, which turns it into an absolute mega beast of an application. However, the free version has an incredible amount of functionality that is really useful for Mac OS users. And it's so feature rich and easy to use. And just be aware that if your computer is a little bit older, then Raycast may take up too many of your resources, especially if you're doing really intensive work on your computer. However, if you've got a newer Mac, then Raycast is absolutely brilliant because the footprint is small enough on a powerful machine to be barely noticeable running in the background. So I've already installed it using Homebrew. So what I'll do is I'll jump into Launchpad and let's go to Raycast and I'll launch Raycast and click open. And here we go, it is now running. And Raycast would like to access the microphone and this is for transcribing audio or translation. So I'll click allow. And as you can see, Raycast will open automatically when you log in. And you can manage this in login item settings. So I'm gonna go straight into start setup. So I'll close that notification and click start setup. And as you can see, just by hovering over this, it shows shortcuts. So rather than pressing continue, I can just press return on my keyboard. So out of the box, there are a whole bunch of productivity tools that as you can see here, Mac OS should have shipped with. But that's cool because I now have them available to me using Raycast. So I'll press enter to go to the next screen. And here I can easily install extensions. So for example, if I wanted to install the color picker, I'll just click that. And it's as easy as that. So I'll press return to continue. And here's the option if I wanted to use Raycast Pro. However, I'm going to click on maybe later. And so to launch Raycast on my keyboard, I press option space and it's already loaded anyway so there we go if i wanted to record a new hotkey then i can do that by pressing this button here at the moment if i go to spotlight and i click that and i can adjust this in system settings so i'll jump into system settings and i'll do a search for spotlight so siri and spotlight click on that and the keyboard shortcut for Spotlight is Command Space. So it is different to Raycast. Cool, so I'll click Continue or Return on my keyboard. And I have permissions here that I can allow. So I can grant access by clicking this button here. Or Files and Folders, if I wanted to search for anything in my Files and Folders, I'm going to click Grant Access to that. And Allow, and Allow, and Allow, and Allow. And I'll also do the same for accessibility, so I can actually tile my windows, and I'll show you how to do that very, very soon. So I'll grant access and go open system settings, and then enable Raycast in accessibility. Cool, enter my password. Oh, wrong password. And I can quit out of system settings. And actually I will grant access to calendar and contacts and that way I can set reminders for meetings and that kind of thing, which is very, very cool. So I'll grant access, allow full access and then continue. And if I wanted to sign up for the newsletter, I can enter my email here, but I'll just press return to continue. And ready for takeoff. So I'll hit option space to continue, option space. And party time, we have now installed Raycast. So what we're looking at right now is Raycast. If I close out of there, you can always find Raycast here. So I can always click this to access Raycast. Click option space. So option space. And before I start, I'm gonna start supercharging my productivity by going through the walkthrough. So I'll open the walkthrough by clicking this button here. And I can learn as much as I want about Raycast by running any of these tasks to learn more. Now if I go over to Actions and I click that, I can actually bypass this sort of walkthrough by simply clicking Mark as Completed. And I'll do the same for that one and also that one. And I'll do this for all of these. Or as you can see, command return 
does the same thing so i'll do that command return return and that is the walkthrough completed so it says you're all done now there are really useful links that you can use but i'm going to use my back button to go back to the start now because i've installed homebrew i'm going to install the homebrew plugin into raycast and what i'll do is i'll click on store and then press return to open the store and then continue and now i can search for the extensions so i'll do a search for homebrew and here is homebrew right there so i'll click that and then go over to actions and i want to install the extensions and as you can see the shortcuts are really consistent so command return will install the extensions so i'll click that and then command return and it is now installing the extension that is done so now if i press escape that will take me back and now if i close and reopen raycar so option space and i'll type in brew and i can now search brew so rather than having to go online to the homebrew website and doing a search to make sure that an application or the correct name of the application is available to download and install using homebrew i can actually do it all now through raycast so if i click on search here and then press return to open it and i can search for any application i can either scroll through this or actually do a search so i'll search here so i'll search for firefox and so we have many versions of firefox we can install from the latest nightly version to the esr or the extended support version but i'll just select the latest and then command return to install it so that's now installing and that has completed so now if i jump into launchpad here is firefox so i'll drag that also into my dock and how cool is that didn't have to open up the app store again so very very cool i'm sure you've seen people that are really proficient using a program but they never click on menus or anything they do everything by keyboard and that's sort of the key to really fast workflows when you're using any application to actually use a lot more shortcuts than mouse clicks so now if i go up to raycast in the menu bar and right click that and then click settings and now i'll click on extensions and this is where raycast absolutely shines so what i'll do now is create some shortcuts so i don't have to use my mouse to open applications so for example i'm so used to opening a terminal window by pressing Control option t on my keyboard so i'll go to applications expand that folder and then scroll down till i find the terminal here it is here and i can now record my hotkey that will launch terminal so i'll click on record hotkey and then Control option t hotkey is set so now if i press Control option t that launches a terminal window very very handy so i'll also create a hotkey to launch a finder window so where's finder here we are so finder record hotkey and i'm used to using command e so that is now set command e launches a finder window and what i'll do next is create some tiling shortcuts so i'll scroll down here till i find window management and i'll expand that and here are all the shortcuts i can create so for example for the bottom half I can record a hotkey and i've kind of got muscle memory for shortcuts for tiling that i use in linux and also in windows so i'm going to use shortcuts that are very similar so i don't have to relearn any new shortcuts so for example the bottom half i'll record the hotkey which will be option command down arrow and bottom left corner which will be option command j bottom right quarter which will be option command k and let's see what else center i'll go option command c and i'll scroll down here let's see what else i've got and i've got maximize so for maximize i'll record the hotkey option command nine and let's see scroll down actually toggle full screen so i'll delete that hotkey and scroll down to 
toggle full screen. So I'll record that as option command zero and scroll down top half will be option command up arrow top left quarter is option command u top right quarter is option command i and i'll scroll down here okay right half record hotkey option command right arrow and let's see if i can find left half there it is option command left and now let's see this in action so i'll launch a finder window and now if i hold down option command i can go left half a screen right half a screen top bottom and then i have my quarters this is really handy if i had multiple windows so i'll open up a finder window and then create another window and another window so now i can tile this window by holding down option command i can tile this window to the right this window to the top left so now i can work really easily all using shortcuts to tile my windows so very very powerful so i'll close all of those windows and go back to raycast so i'll scroll back up and unexpand the window management window and so now that i've replaced spotlight i'm actually going to remove spotlight from the menu bar so i'll firstly close raycast settings and then open up my system settings and then go to the control center and then scroll down here till i find spotlight here we go and i'm going to select don't show in menu bar and that has now removed that from the menu bar and given me a little bit more space there as well so i'll close system settings mm -hmm. 